everyone, my name is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we are the Sorry Girls. We are back doing another thrift flip. This time it's going to be Daniela inspired. She just moved into a beautiful new home and we want to give her entryway a little bit of an up cycle. So we're gonna go to the thrift store and maybe more than one, do a whole bunch of thrift store shopping and make her a new entryway. Ah! Okay, let's go. Ooh, we could do some like little mirrors. That's cute. Imagine a collection. Plants, lamps, stools. Come on, bench, looking for a bench. This is so standy, it could be like a bench. It's a shoe rack, right? I think so. All right, got what we could at that store, but now we are on our way to another thrift store. How long is her room? Can we do like, can we cut this in half? And then like put two halves? It'd be dope to get her a runner, but mm, I don't think these are runners. What you got? It's, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm wondering what this is because it has a big hole here and then a little hole here. There's dollars. This is the cutest shaped mirror I've ever seen in my life. All right. Let's haul it for you. So. First up, we got this cute little vase water spout thing, and this was $4.50. We also have this teensy little cute mirror, and it's $3.75. These little vases or candle holders, TBD, were $1.50. We have what I think assembles together to be one shoe rack that was $5.50, but I think we're gonna try and make two out of this one. Mm-hmm. Stay tuned. This really cute embroidery art was $5.50. It's so precious. It reminded us of Daniela, so we bought it. And we weren't sure what our color theme was gonna be because that was one of the first things we picked up, but I actually think it still works. Yes, it's colorful, but it's, it's still on works. the right vibe. And then this, speaking about vibes, is I think just like a roll of fabric. Like maybe it can be cut up to be placemats. It's, it's like, like textured. Paper. It's weird. It's like woven. It was only $3, so we have some plans to cut it up and use it for some cool things. This here basket was $2. And lastly, we have this Giganto mirror, which was probably the biggest steal I've had like ever at any thrift store. It was $7.50. And it's gorgeous and beautiful. A little heavy, but we will figure that out. Some of this stuff just needs to be assembled in the space, and some of it is actually DIYs. Mm -hmm. So let's start with this shoe rack. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is what our shoe rack looks like assembled. It kind of looks like a shoe rack, but these slats are really gorgeous and very Scandinavian and cool. So we take it apart, which by the way is super easy to do. We have these two pieces, which we're not gonna use these legs anymore. Bye legs. So now we have these, cute, right? So we're gonna add our own legs to these and they're gonna be two separate little sets. So to do that, we have these leftover pieces of wood actually from our IKEA trellis video. So I'm just gonna create new legs out of this using the same kind of angled technique. And instead of like four individual legs, each leg is going to be a like rectangular box made out of this. So to make these legs, I used our table saw set to a 45 degree angle and cut eight short pieces and eight long pieces. And then I just wood glued them together to make four rectangles. And I added the staples just to hold it while it dries. And then I took them out once they were all dry. I gave them a quick sand. And here we are with our four picture frame looking things, but really they're table legs. And now we're going to attach them to our slatted wood here, which I realize is also just super easy to make. It's like a dowel with like some holes in it. Good tip for future DIYing. So to do this, I'm just going to add some little brackets and screw them into place. So my legs are attached with the little brackets and then I just gave them a quick seal and I'm all done. Now I have my two shoe racks, which is almost like a shoe cover. I feel like you wanna leave this like kind of empty. If you can't, I don't know. But we are going to install these in the space after Becky works on the mirror situation. So you guys saw that we picked up this gorgeous large mirror behind me. And the plan is to put it up on the wall in the entryway. So it is very heavy. <laughs> it's heavy. How many years of bad luck is a mirror of this size? A lot. Too many. So we are gonna be doing a shelf below it to give it some support, but that's not enough to make sure it doesn't fall off the wall. So we wanna add a wire to the back. We assume that this mirror was a part of a vanity for a bedroom. So it's screwed into like a larger piece, which is why it's missing the wire on the back. But because there are holes in the back, we know we can put screws in it if they're small. So we're gonna do two small screws and then add our own wire so that we can also put that on a hook on the wall. So it's got the shelf and a wire to a screw. So it's doubly secure when we go to install it. Okay, so my wire is on, everything's feeling very secure. 
So this is the piece of wood I'm going to be using for the shelf. This is just an extra piece of wood we had around the office. It is a two by four that we sanded down nicely. So I'm going to take this, the mirror, our newly built shoe racks, and everything else picked up at the thrift store, and we're going to go to Daniela's and install it all. So in Daniela's space, we're starting by clearing out everything. This includes removing her current coat rack, which will be in the way of the mirror we're going to hang. We're hanging up the embroidery art and the little mirror. We replaced her coat rack with some simple white hooks from the hardware store. On our other wall, we're lining up where we want our support shelf to be and then screwing in two L brackets into the wall. We added the shelf on top and then secured it to the brackets with some wood screws. We then hung the mirror center on the shelf. We hung this on an additional screw to make sure it stayed securely on the shelf. We're adding on our thrifted candle holders with two LED candlesticks. Next, we're bringing in our upcycled shoe rack and laying it out on the woven fabric we've thrifted. We cut it to size to act as a nice protectant for dirty shoes on the floor. We're styling our vase beside the shoe rack with some dried wheat. In our smallest front hall corner, we've added a plant into our thrifted basket. Oh yeah. Oh my god. That mirror though. That mirror's beautiful. Remember that time you said you, all you wanted was a mirror and we got you two? <laughs> two mirrors! Two mirrors! Oh my god, I feel love. Ah, oh, guys, this is so good. Oh my god, I feel like a homeowner, you know? Oh my god, the candles? I didn't even notice the candles. That's amazing. You guys are crazy. Thank you. You're welcome. Love you guys. Love you. All right, how do you guys think we did in Daniela's space? It's like I a mini space when we're in. Yeah, it's really good. It's really cute. It feels like this is like purposeful now. Exactly, it makes the entryway more welcoming and more useful, I think, and overall more styled. If you guys like this thrift flip, make sure you check out all the other thrift flips we've ever done, ever. Mm -hmm. If you want to see like a more styled space take on it thrift flip that's like very similar to this one, you can check out our boho version that we did a while ago. Yeah, and oh my god. Comment below if you were here when we did that like makeover for your sister, her entryway. Yes. Done, this is the second entryway we've done. We love a good entryway. That was like our first ever like we're going to somebody's place and making it over. So that's like super special. Oh my god, baby us. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like it, make sure you give this video a like. And if you loved it, make sure you give it a sub. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.